Chapter 788, Slaughter Path Showdown. It's only been two moves and yet Si Chuan was injured? The Seven Star Divine Kingdom's High Prince successor said with an astonished expression. Although every prince's strength was kept a confidential secret, the Four Divine Kingdoms' competition with each other was simply too fierce. Si Chuan was one of the several important princes of the Azura Divine Kingdom, so it was inevitable that he would be under tight observation from all available intelligence networks. Although it wasn't known what degree his exact strength reached, people were still able to roughly estimate. After all, Si Chuan was one of the princes who would compete for the highest throne of the Azura Divine Kingdom in the future. His natural talent was undeniable. At 30 years of age, he should now be able to rank on the destiny decree. Although it was unknown just who would be stronger between him and Lin Ming, the difference in their abilities shouldn't be so great. It wasn't just the Seven Star High Prince successor who thought this, but even the Great Smelting Kingdom Prince felt this was just too incredible. At this time, Yang Yun was calmly drinking some tea when he said, It isn't that the disparity in their strength is great, but the disparity in their understanding of the concept of space is too great. Just now, that move was only a comparison of whose concept of space was more accomplished. Si Chu Juan thought that he would be able to win the advantage by fusing the concept of space into his attack, but he never thought that his opponent's attainments in the concept of space were even higher. He underestimated his opponent and suffered a blow because of it. His injury is due to the fact that he wasn't mentally prepared in advance. At this time, Si Chu Juan felt extremely shamed and bereaved. The concept of space was the Azura Divine Kingdom's most famous concept. It was recorded within the Great Desolate Halberd Art, and was something that only the Si Chu royal family descendants were able to study. The concept of space was known as one of the most difficult and powerful concepts and also known as the king of concepts. The entire Sichu family clan inevitably held pride in themselves because their entire family clan could utilize the concept of space. Especially Sichu Juan. His talent was extraordinary and he had an extremely high comprehension of the concept of space. Even the divine emperor appreciated his abilities. But now, all of that arrogant pride had been ruthlessly destroyed by Lin Ming. This boy actually understands the concept of space and his method of attack seems similar to my own Azura Divine Kingdom's inheritance. Even the might of the attack is greater. He absolutely has a more complete version of the Great Desolate Albert Art. Si Chu Chan didn't think that Lin Ming's talent in the concept of space surpassed his own. He only thought that Lin Ming must have a complete inheritance of the Great Desolate Albert Art. All of these things should belong in the grasp of their Azura Divine Kingdom. Only my Azura Divine Kingdom Si Chu family is deserving of this inheritance. There is no one else worthy. Si Chu Juan cried out within his heart. If he could train in this complete Great Desolate Albert Art then his strength would inevitably rise. Perhaps when facing Yang Yun, he might not even be overwhelmed by that man's blinding halo. Brother Si Chu, consider this match finished. Yang Yun's voice suddenly sounded out. Although Si Chu Juan had been injured because of a brief lapse in his guard, an injury was an injury. This was only supposed to be a friendly spar, not a life or death struggle. Losing an even half a move was considered a loss. I refuse to accept this. Si Chu Juan shouted out loud, keeping his spear pointed at Lin Ming. Everything on the line was related to the honor of his Azura Divine Kingdom. So how could he just admit defeat like this? Otherwise, if news of today's happening spread out, everyone would know that the rampant and lofty Si Chuan had lost to someone far younger than him in just two moves. Not just that, but that hairless little boy's cultivation was more than an entire realm lower than his. He would suffer nothing but ridicule. The stipulation of ten moves hasn't ended yet. Just because I was surprised for a moment just now doesn't mean I lost. Since Si Chuan insisted on finishing the ten moves to the end, Yang Yun also didn't say any more. He only silently looked at Lin Ming. He hadn't thought that Lin Ming's comprehension of the concept of space would reach such a degree as if he himself were an omnipotent being. This sort of talent was something he had never heard of before. It simply surpassed his own understanding. Si Chu Juan held his spear flat and his aura exploded from his body. He no longer planned to use the concept of space. Since his understanding of concepts was inferior, he would only be embarrassing himself if he continued to forcefully utilize it. Using it to attack the enemy would be the epitome of stupidity. But the great desolate Albert Art still contained another great supporting pillar besides the concept of space. That was comprehension of the slaughter path. Si Chu Juan didn't believe that Lin Ming would also surpass him in the understanding of the slaughter path. Bang! Under the incitement of the blood-drinking seals, Si Chu Juan's killing intent erupted, overwhelming and covering the entire sky. Several hundred blood-drinking seals flew high in the air like stars in flight, covering the entire area as they glowed and increasingly blood-red. The skies above the entire Nine Flower Lake surged with energy. Black energy rolled everywhere, emitting a suffocating atmosphere. By abandoning the concept of space, he would decide this with only the Great Desolate Albert Art's slaughter path. In the Jade Pavilion atop the Nine Flower Lake, several heroic young elites felt indescribably uncomfortable after being enveloped by this killing intent. Although those that Yang Yun had invited this time were all the chosen prides of heaven within the Sky Spill Continent, that didn't mean that they were too strong. If they were too young and their cultivation was only at the revolving core realm, their strength would still be limited no matter how great their talent. It was impossible for them to withstand Si Chu Juan's killing intent. Such a solid killing intent and such keen blood-drinking seals. Si Chu Juan must have killed countless martial artists these past years. The Great Smelting Prince sighed. One couldn't effectively accumulate killing intent by killing weaker martial artists, only by killing martial artists at the same level, or even other similar prides of heaven. Only then by watching a strong opponent fall before them would this image engrave itself into one's heart, becoming an unwavering belief of victory that was able to sweep away all. This sort of belief could be sent out like an energy field, and once combined with the will to kill an opponent this would then turn into killing intent. The Sichu family clan is indeed a savage and brutal family clan. All of their princes, successors and other family members will be thrown into dangerous situations at just 15-16 years of age. 
they are forced to tear down vicious beasts and giant demons, and every royal family member fails this test has nothing but death awaiting them. Yes, within the Azura Divine Kingdom there is a medium-sized dimension that has the giant demon race living in it, reared up like pigs in a pen, only becoming the smelting trial field of their royal family. For Sichuan to understand the slaughter path to such a degree, that means he must have cut down hundreds or thousands of giant demons at his level. All of the young heroic elites began discussing amongst themselves. The methods that the four divine kingdoms used to train the next generation were no great secret. However, the Azura Divine Kingdom's methods were the harshest, cruelest, and most lacking in mercy of all. For those royal family members that had no talent, their fate was even more miserable than that of the common people. I will take the advantage with this move. Si Chu Chan fiercely looked at Lin Ming, although he had been wounded just then because he had underestimated his opponent. No matter the reason a loss was still a loss. He had thrown down his face in order to continue fighting. And if he wasn't able to suppress Lin Ming and was instead suppressed by Lin Ming, then he would be laughed at by others. This was not a loss he could afford. Loss meant complete loss of any face he had left. I will take back the Siege of Family Clan as glory, and all of the Demon Emperor's inheritances should also return to my Siege of Family Clan. Siege Chuan's heart burned with a raging fire. His anger, his will, his body, everything was fused into this next attack. Great Desolate Halberd Art. Slaughter Path. By overdrawing his strength and true essence, Siege Chuan poured his complete being into this attack. A black spear light shot out, tearing through the void as it rolled up into the massive clouds of roiling black energy and fused with the hundreds of blood drinking seals that Siege Chuan had released. With a thrust of this spear, the mountains and river seemed to tremble creating a dazzlingly blinding attack. You want a slaughter path showdown? Lin Ming's lips curved up in a smile. Although I have to admit I truly do not have much talent in the slaughter path, I still have been able to achieve a bit through hard work. Out of everything that Lin Ming had ever studied, his accomplishments in the concept of wind and a slaughter path had never been to his satisfaction. The former had caused Lin Ming's golden rock shattering the void to be hampered at times, and the latter made it so that he wasn't able to display the full strength of the blood drinking seals in the great desolate halberd art. In particular, as Lin Ming's strength rapidly grew, the blood drinking seals could no longer keep up with his current strength. However, Lin Ming's slaughter path wasn't just the blood drinking seals. True essence gathered in his dungeon. The death god force field and the azura force field simultaneously erupted. Bang! The force field energy rushed out like a tide of molten iron. As soon as Sichu Chuan's black energy collided with the azura force field, it was actually ripped to shreds, half of it immediately dispersing to nothing. What? As Lin Ming's death god force field completely opened to the limit, even Yang Yun was startled. Compared to the scattered killing intent that Sichu Chuan had released, Lin Ming's killing intent had condensed into a true force field. Moreover, it wasn't just one kind of force field but two kinds. A force field formed from killing intent. This Lin Lanjian must have grown up by treading over the corpses of martial artists all at his level or higher. The White Clan Princess sucked in a breath of cold air. A force field was an extremely rare ability and Lin Ming even had two different kinds. As for those twenty-some-year-old geniuses with a mere revolving core cultivation, all of them paled as they were swallowed up by this killing intent, nearly falling down where they stood. Bury the heavens. True essence howled. The concept of fire and the concept of space fused together. The eight inner hidden gates opened to the limit and a large success bronze battle spirit was poured into a spear. What Lin Ming used was impressively bury the heavens, a self-created move modeled with the strongest aspects of the great desolate caliber dart as the foundation. A red spear tore through the void, all of the power of space swirling up into a space storm. The burning star flame was galvanized by the wild space claws, evolving into a demonic black flame. Kai Kai Kai. The demonic flame burned apart space, causing massive amounts of space fragments to scatter about. These space fragments served as a substitute for blood drinking seals as they spun around at a maddening speed. As Si Chu Juan saw Lin Ming's fierce attack come at him, he barked out a wild shout, his face flushed an unusual blood red. What he used was an arcane skill, to a demonic path martial artist. This sort of arcane skill that burned one's bloodline to forcefully enhance one's strength was extremely common. Of course, after using it, one had to pay the price. If the side effects were light, then his meridians would be damaged. If the side effects were serious, then it would heavily damage his life source. At this time, Si Chu Chuan no longer had any other path to take. He had to win in this move. Bang! Two spears violently collided together. A wild true essence shockwave surged out, uncontrollably smashing into the Nine Flower Lakes Jade Pavilion until it seemed to be on the verge of collapse. Several revolving core young elites whitened, and those early revolving core martial artists were all forced out of their seats and several steps back, nearly vomiting blood. This continued until Yang Yun, the Great Smelting Prince, and the White Clan Princess all acted together, blocking the turbulent energy flows. Underneath everyone's eyes, a surprising scene occurred. The space fragments that swirled around Lin Ming's spear struck Si Chu Chuan's blood-drinking seals, crushing them until they were less than half the original size. Then, after breaking through Si Chu Chuan's spear light, Lin Ming's spear potential didn't yet disappear. It brought along with it a blazing fire and terrifying concept of space as it struck Si Chu Chuan's bodily protective true essence. Si Chu Chuan's bodily true essence immediately disintegrated and he flew backwards. The result of the battle had exceeded everyone's earlier expectations. Si Chu Chuan had been completely suppressed and abused by Lin Ming. But how could this be? When Lin Ming first faced Corpmancer he had become victorious only after a hard-fought battle. But now, facing Si Chu Chuan, he won with considerable ease. Did this mean that Si Chu Chuan was far inferior to Corpmancer? 